problem 8. For a set of four distinct lines in a plane, there are exactly n distinct points that lie on two or more of the lines. What is the sum of all possible values of n? So first of all, we must understand two properties of lines, so two properties. The first one is same slope. That means, there, therefore, it must no intersect. But if I were to have different slopes, then I were to have at least one intersection. So with this understanding, let's consider a simulation of n. Let's have zero points to be the intersection. Well, I can utilize this formula right here, which is that I have the same slope, but then they will never intersect. So therefore, we can say that this is just four parallel lines. What about one point? Well, we know that we must utilize formula two, which is that different slopes must have an intersection. So I must have at least one like this. But what about this, the, the second and third lines? I can't make a line that's parallel to this one because even though it's it won't intersect this line right here, it will intersect this line because of property two. But at the same time, I cannot make a line that's like this because while these are, these are parallel, it's not parallel with this line, so it will intersect, it, thus making two points. So that's impossible. But what about I make it so that it intersects that one point at the same um, intersection of the previous two lines? Well, that obviously works. And if I have to draw the fourth line in, everything checks out, so I have a simulation for one point. But what about two points, right? In the previous example, I told you that if I were to have a line like this, I will get the two points that I want. But can I make another point such that it won't introduce another point. Well, I can use the one I did for part one, where I make it so that it passes through a pre, where I make it so that the new line passes through a pre-existing point, so it does not introduce a new one. But notice what happens if I do so. If I make it pass through this one, then it must intersect this line right here. At the same time, <coughs> I can't make it pass through this line, this intersection either, because then if I pass it through, then it'll intersect right here. So this way is obviously impossible. Which, again, if I were to do it like this, they'll make two more, which is even worse. So just by deductive reasoning, two points is impossible. What about three points, if I were to scroll down? For three points, we must have the pre-existing two lines that intersect, right? But what about the third line? Well, to make a third line, we want to intersect two more points to get three points. And we could just do it like this, because again, different slopes must intersect. Which, this line has a different slope than this one and this one. So it must intersect two times. Now that we have this quantity, can we make it so that we don't have another line introduced? Well, that's impossible, because if we were to put it like this, then it would introduce one more point. So there must be a different arrangement for three. So let's try to do it again. Let's say I have this point, but I utilized what I did for part one, where I made it so that the line passes through a pre-existing intersection. Let's do that. Now, can I make two, um, three more points? Well, if I were to extend this line and make it to parallel to this one, then I'll get a line where I only have two intersections. Because again, this line is parallel to this line, but not to this one and this one. So I have two more intersections added to the pre-existing one, we'll get three. So this right here will be a valid arrangement. What about part four, where we have four points? Well, if we have four points, then again, let's do this, and let's make it optimal, where I make it like a three points right here. Since I only want to introduce one more point, let's nullify an intersection by crossing it through a pre-existing one like this one. Crossing through this one and going through this point will give you a fourth intersection. Now, does this violate any of the rules? No, because all of the lines are on parallel are intersecting to get 2 plus 2 to get 4. So it means the 4-point simulation will be valid as well. What about the 5-point one? Well, I have to have 5 points. I need to optimize as many intersections as possible. So I have the intersection right here, <coughs> and I have another intersection like this. And just for the sake of convenience, remember that these are perpendicular, just for good visual. Then we can just make a parallel line like this, because since this one and this one are parallel, but not to this line and this line, it would introduce two more intersections, plus the three pre-existing ones would give five. So we have one, two, three, four, five intersections, so this would be a valid solution. Now let's consider the 6.1. If I were to have six points, then I must intersect even more points. So we have one point here, we have another point here, so we have three in total, that's a pre-existing one. But what about we want to add three more points? Well, just from looking at it, I can just do it like this, right? Where all the the line right here is not parallel to any of the three pre-existing lines, so, so must introduce three more intersections. Because remember, this is not parallel to this one, it's not parallel to this one, it's not parallel to this one. So it must introduce three more intersections because it's not parallel to three lines. Therefore, plus the three pre-existing one will give six, so this checks out. What about the seven points? Well, six points, I already optimized the intersections, where I made one line intersect with one, 
the next one to intersect with 2, and the next one to intersect with 3. I cannot make it so that it inter intersects 4 points, because I don't have enough lines. So this is impossible. So now, we have stop, and we can sum them up and we get our answer. Since we have 0 points all the way to 6, excluding 2, this must be 0 plus 6, multiplied by 7 divided by 2, minus 2. <coughs> this would be therefore equal to um, 3 times 7, which is 21, minus 2, which is 19, bringing you to answer choice D.